peace and love to all. If this were a magic wand, it was like, Islam, peace and love to all. So that's what we would wish across the room. Um, we Thanks for being here. We're glad to be here. It's been how long since we've been here? I don't know, long time. Where's Ahmed? Thanks for uh, inviting us here. I guess we used to come here a lot and um, a few years back, 2005, six maybe? Yeah, six. This is 2008 now. Yeah. Maybe even before then. And, you know, it was during a time when, of course, you know, the consciousness of who we are as a people was and still is rising. And, you know, you had a lot of controversial controversy that I think is rested now because anyone who does any, just a little bit of studies, knows that we, the people, and particularly and especially here in North America, who consider ourselves as Negroes, coloreds, and blacks, all those names that we changed every 20 years were Negroes, were colored, or that we allowed. Let's say, I won't say we changed, that's incorrect. All those labels and brands that we allowed to be placed upon us, because that's what it, what it really was or is, all of those we now know that we're Moors, period. There's no, we, it's not to be denied. So, so you were never lied to when you were told that you were Moors. A little bit of study, and you see it for yourself. In fact, if you go past the 1700s, you go straight into, straight directly, do not pass go, Moorish history. And it's the history of the world. So it's not specified to any one particular place. It's of the world. But we know that we've been miseducated, right? And we accept that now. And we know that we'll stop fighting with each other about the, these things and, and, and truly have accepted it. We've been miseducated. And I wanted to just briefly talk about one of the main, one of the, not main, because it's all paranoid, paramount. Every subject matter that you can put into place we have been miseducated on just let's just accept it and even those of us who may be here and went and got a degree and got a master's degree believe me you don't you didn't get what you're supposed to have had all right so those degrees come from the 360 degrees that you find on the astro astrological wheel the astrology wheel itself is a teaching tool that your ancestors, our ancestors, left us for the purposes of teaching to our children, for the purposes of teaching elementary level. It's an elementary class. Uh, that's why you, we send our children to elementary school, don't we? To, turn, to learn about the elements, but that's not what they're being taught. They're not being taught about the elements because the elements are fire, earth, and water. Now, the wheel itself, with all the depictions that are on it, actually teaches of the characteristics and the nature of man. All of the blendings that, and, and the possibilities. That's what it is. So when we learn it and know it, we understand each other better because we recognize the energies that are in the room. We recognize the energies that we brought to life, who they are from the time that they're small, and then we are able to bend their inclinations towards that of which they came here for. We don't even know what they're here for because we don't read their chart. It's a navigation chart because man is mine, right? We, we take on the garb of flesh and we come into this plane for a purpose. You're not just here for no reason. You, we have a purpose. And it is slated for us or noted for us in our chart. So, you know, you go to the churches and I know some friends of mine, whatever religion they subscribe to, because they don't really know what religion is because religion is the study of the stars. But... The, the reverend told him, yeah, you know, they had their sermon. And he says, you are marked at birth. You're marked with the mark of God, whatever they say. I'm like, okay, that's great. That's, I mean, all right, that's great. So where's the mark? See? See the rhetoric? But if you know you're marked, then there must be some way to identify such. 
That's the question. They won't answer them. They can't get that answer from them because they are trained to just pacify the mind. They are agents against um, the, the, uh, uh, the, our people, period. That's what they are. It's not they're acting like they are. They just are, even in their titles. We talked about that yesterday. The title, preacher, reverend, etc. That's just what it is. It is what it is. And we're able to accept that it is what it is now more than I think we were before from a ma more collective point of view. Because you know why? We've been beat up a lot, haven't we? How many have been getting beat up? Yeah, everybody, all of us, all of us. All of us, including myself, I'm speaking for myself, we've been getting beat up because it's only through the pain. And I remember Todd used to always say that, don't worry about it. Through the pain, we'll come together. It's true. We just need to accept the truth. So the, the chart, astrology is the study of cosmology. Astrology, cosmology, universal law. Um, you'll hear people say astrologics, the logistics of it of the uh, uh, astro astrological bodies or heavenly bodies. And it really does mean that because astronomy is the geography, where the planets are, sort of like the, let's say it's the geography as we would on the earth plane, where the planets are, that's astronomy. Astrology are the effects of those planets and the effects that it makes and as it makes those, you know, it's two different energies, right? So when two different energies are together, they make a certain, a certain effect, a certain aspect, right? All right, so when the planets, who are the source of this energy, right, they're the source, when they're moving, depending on where they are, they create an aspect with the other planet. So if you've got someone that you've got a, a, um, a more um, neutral energy with a more um, malefic, I'll call it malefic, but I won't say, or benefic, energy well depends on who's in the room together how it's gonna act but all of these energies from the heavenly bodies shine down onto the earth right you don't see them and you don't hear them but that does not mean they're not there because they are and they affect us every day every minute and every degree so they shine down and they are angles of light source right that's what angels are they told you they were angels. That's why they can't really describe what an angel looks like. It's an angle of light from the source of light. Yes. All right? So this is how we've been, you know, coded into being dumbed down. All right? And the law, the law, as in all law or a la, the law is where these are because they're laid and fixed, right? Where they are and how those, what they, what uh, uh, um, uh, aspects they make, right? Now that's all law. Now when all law is manifested into the flesh, it becomes Allah, right? Arm, leg, leg, arm, head. This is why you are the law. So when you hear people say, you know, they get it screwed up, say, well, yeah, go see the Moors because, you know, they, they, they think that they're above the law. That shows our ignorance. We study our culture. We, we, all of you in here, always did. Always did. That's the culture. We know what the law really is. We know that divine law is the supreme law, and anything written is written in the spirit of it. So then we go and we look and we see what is fair, what is correct. And we see that, for instance, when you hear about the Constitution, which is the law here of the land, that is written in the spirit of divine law. We recognize that. And so we, we deal with that. We know what it's talking about, the seven and ten. Seven planets, ten, I mean, seven articles, ten Bill of Rights. Seven most influenced planets, ten in, the, in this solar system. And so I want to say, those of you who say I'm going to and I can't wait to leave this planet, because I don't want to be here anymore. It's terrible here. I just want to go. It doesn't work that way. One, we're responsible for what, when, what's going on on the planet. That's number one. And the fact that we want to leave is, is, is what the problem is, or the fact that we don't want to deal with that responsibility, because you can work with it on the spiritual plane too. 
just as I know Noble Jawad Lee said he would do. Remember, he said he was going to stick around long enough for the Europeans to start telling the truth. He never lied about that, because that's what's happening, is it not? All right. He was truly, um, truly um, prophetic or a prophet. What is a prophet? Does anybody know what the definition of a prophet is? Hmm. Yes. To foresee. to foresee. Yes. You know how many people in the churches got the, their Bible here carrying it, talking about they don't believe in foretelling? Well, what, now they call it fortune telling. That's a misnomer. Foretelling, right? And you're like, well, the Bible or the Bibliothe attack the correct word because it means record or record or Bibliothe means um, record and Heliotech is the sun. So record of sun. So it's like, that is a book of foretelling. It says it's what is, what was, and what is to come. So you see the ignorance level that we're at? I don't believe, we don't believe in fortune telling. And the book is a book of foretel foretelling. And then they say, well, they give themselves their names of prophets and prophetesses. Now the women are coming up and they're allowing women to call themselves prophetesses, right? But they won't allow anybody else to call themselves a prophet because you got to prove that you're a prophet, right? The, the brothers in the church, they reverends and, and, and deacons and all that. And I'm going to show you where that comes from in a minute too, right off the astrology wheel. But now the women are talking about their prophetesses. Oh, but they can't even tell me what it means. So if they can't tell you what it means and they claim that that's who they are, there's a problem. So then you take them right to the dictionary. Thank goodness for etymology and Brother Dooley. Because I think a lot of where we are with our understanding now comes from doing some studies and finding out how to do the studies. Like we were just talking today in the car. <laughs> we were talking about the word God. And Brother Vega over here, young Brother Vega, he said, well, you know, I was talking with some people and I just had him open the dictionary and look up the word God and he opened they open it up, and guess what it said? In it, it said 12th century. Well, A.D. So if it's 12th century, A.D., it is not ancient, is it? So when we go around saying the ancient gods of Egypt, we are in error, are we not? Oh, yeah, I know what you mean, but you got to mean what you say, because why? Because there's power in words, because first, there was the word. And the word was God, was with God, and the word was God. So what's first, God or the word? The word. And so then people go around saying, we're going to spread the word. You know, the Christian, we're spreading the word. They don't even know what the word is, but they're spreading it. You're spreading the word. We're spreading the word. So understanding then that by going to a simple dictionary, which apparently they didn't really want to teach you that in school, because I understand now from Sister Sonda, hey, sister, she's a kindergarten teacher for 20 years. She's telling us that uh, they're teaching the babies in school now to write their name in all caps right in preschool level. Now, does everyone know what all caps means? Because, you know, we're enslaved through contracts, and all caps means a corporation, a fictitious person. Did you know that? How many did know that? Just to be honest. Wow. Interesting. No, it's interesting. Because that's... Now, now, now out of those people who said they didn't know that, I'm just going to do a survey. I'm not trying to put anybody on, on the spot, because we're all about love and, and learning. How many of those people that raised their hand and said they didn't know what... It, what uh, that that was a corporation, a fictitious person, by law, have tried to capture something called the straw man or dealt with someone and got a contract or something with the straw man, tried to capture straw None of y'all did that? Oh, oh uh, somebody went like this, we're not going to say. All right. And the reason I brought that up is because it's interesting because that's what the straw man is. So now do you see that's a characteristic that belongs to the straw man? It's always done in all caps, and it's not real. And that's all of us here. The reason why we, almost the reason why we even have to nationalize is because, well, first of all, we're born with, with our nationality. We just didn't know it. But the other part is that this, this democracy, these demos, they have taken you in your ignorance, right? This is the enslavement. It's bureaucratic. It really is. And they've taken your, no, your name or nomen and they have put it into all caps from the time of your birth and made you a corporation and a fictitious person. 
And they did that, so they transact business in your name all across the country, all across the nation. And that's what the real deficit really is. But that's another lesson. They did that because of your, because Yahshua said, my people perish for what? A lack of knowledge. He never lied either. It's true. So this is what's happening. So that, that was just an example of that. But everything is connected. And so I'm talking this, but it's all connected. Why? Because you're the law. The law and the source of the law is from the planet. The, the uh, planets create those aspects that affect. They're laid and fixed. Now, where were you when, when um, where were the planets when you were born? What mark is put on you? That's what you, we need to know. But when we were coming, when we were living as we do uh, before we fell asleep, women never ever conceived children without knowing where these planetary forces were, typically. All right, so not never, but it was, it was the rule. Why? Because women are responsible for putting beings into the society, the children. That's, our, that's what we do, because they come through the womb. So we want to know what we're bringing in. We should. But that's our problem. We don't know. And we have children, and then we say, what's wrong with the children? And what's wrong with the children is, is what's wrong with us. We haven't realized that, yes. So we also utilize astrology for family planning, even after they were here. Why? Let me tell you why. Because you have the air, energy of Aries, as an example, is fire, right? Now, you have the energy of uh, Taurus, which is Earth. You have the energy of Gemini, which is air. And then you have the energy of Cancer, which is water. And then that repeats itself again. Water, fire, or it keeps repeating itself. Different season times. If I came from my mother's womb, and while I was there, those nine months... I received the energies of the earth plane and the universe for nine months, typically. But I didn't get the other three, did I? No. That's why the grand architect, which is this woman, builds Solomon's temple, soul of man's temple, in the darkness, in the silence with no saw, no hammer, no hands, right? She's building it. <clears throat> but it is what? Incomplete. That's why it's incomplete. All right? So I'm an Aries, I am going to need, almost fatally need, the energies from a Taurus, from a Gemini, and from a Cancer, because I don't have them. A lot of the fatal attractions that you know of, go back, check it out. Some of you had some of yourself. Hope it wasn't fatal, but, you know. <laughs> but sometimes when our relating and our misrelating, it becomes fatal to our emotions and, fatals to our ment and fatal to our mentality, and then we become sick. And then society becomes sick because we don't have this, this basic outline because off of here is where all the ologies come from, psychology, sociology, all of them, and the math, trigonometry, all of them. They all come. The, math, the universe is mathematical, and everything about it is right here. And it seems complicated, but it's a, it's a, it's a, first of all, there's a laid-out map, and, then, and I could never show you everything today. I'm just giving you some basic understanding for, for you to want to seek uh, uh, this knowledge because it's important and some of you sitting here right now when you read your chart and you see what your high and lower self is which are the aspects not that you are cancer or whatever your sun sign is but in, in your trinity being your moon sign and your rising or ascendant being your um, your, your um, uh, rising sign being the, the body style in which you're cloaked in which your soul is cloaked in that's the true trinity it's good to know that because then you'll know that if you're out of harmony, as I'm saying, when mothers wouldn't have children come in out of harmony, but if you are, and you've got fire and you've got water on your own trinity, you need to check that out, fix that, work with that, before you start judging anyone, and before you start allowing people to make you feel like something is wrong with you. That's the key. When you understand the energies and characteristics of man, all the possibilities, Right? You also begin to understand your fellow man better and the other people that you work with. And when I say work, I don't mean necessary JLB, I mean that we live with. So now we're more tolerant of each other and we're not so judgmental. 
because we're all different. But one thing that isn't different are the and are the energies. Thing you need to know is how do they act and react to each other when they're in the same proximity? Because that's what made you. So, so the law being you being a product of nature and a product of universal laws. That's who we are. That's why we say we're the law. Because you are the law, because law's not created any other way. So we need to start acting like it and respecting it and not allowing someone else to tell us what is and what is not. What, that, we can't do that. That, that. that has harmed us. So our children come in through the law, the energies, and we need to know what they are. We need to know what they need what their inclinations are. So let's say again, you're an Aries, so you don't have Taurus, you don't have, you don't have, um, uh, uh, put this straight, you don't have uh, Taurus, Gemini, or Cancer energy, so you're gonna be seeking after friends that are like that. Now it doesn't mean that you're gonna be seeking after friends for sex. That's another thing. We have to know the difference between procreation and recreation. Right, David? David has a wonderful um, presentation about that. There is a difference, but, as Dave always said, and, I, and it makes sense, you were taught, what is it? You're taught not to have sex with your friends. Is that it? You're not supposed to be intimate with your friends. That's what they say. So then who's that you got laying next to you? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> right. <clears throat> well, anyway, that's a whole other issue and a whole, <clears throat> whole other class. So... So if we understand this, so when we had another child, when we had another child, we would make sure that our children, because we always had a few, because we're the mothers of, 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 of civilization, we act like having a child is something that is, that is this horrid. That's, I hate to say that's our job, but that's what we do. No one's coming here unless they come through the womb, so we have this sacred womb. Really, it's not something to just talk about. It's actually the Ark of the Covenant that they keep saying they're looking for, the Ark that's created here. And the Covenant is, means agreement to bring the souls, bring the ancestors back in. That's really what it is. So, so we'll have another child, but if we don't have a child that's in harmony, that has someone in the household that needs them, and then it goes the other way, you need someone too. You need the three signs in front of you, you, you search after that. Unless, of course, your mother or your father, or your siblings have it, which is what family planning is. So your siblings are going to be, if you're an Aries and you need a Taurus energy, you might have a sibling that's a Taurus. And that fixes it because these first six houses are your personal raising of self. After the sixth house, you go into the seventh house, right, which is the first social house. This is important. That's the debutante coming out into society. What did you bring from home to bring into society? Stop complaining about what's out there when it's you that actually raises it. That's, the reason, that's, your, that's what you do. And, sisters, we start from the womb. We start right here teaching. And it has nothing to do with anyone else but right here, the first school room. School room. So now you're going to have another child that's in harmony. With, your household's going to be in harmony. When you have a household, trust this. You know a friend, we all do, that grows up, leaves home, never really comes back, visits every now and then, I guarantee you there's nobody in that household that's either three signs in front of him that he needs, he or she needs the energy, and there's probably no one that's behind him that actually needs him either. This is science. This is how it works. That's how it works. Go check it out. However, your sun sign is your characteristics in which you express who you are inside, which is your moon, right? That's the real you, cloaked in this darkness here, trying to express itself through the characteristics of whatever your sun sign is, and presents itself through the characteristics of whatever your uh, rising sign is, or ascendant sign is, meaning what's on the horizon when you were born. So that's why people look and say, try to guess what your sign is, and you say, that's not my sign, because they're looking at your body style, they're not looking at your soul. They're not looking at your characteristics necessarily, although certain signs definitely have body style characteristics, and it could be a blend of it. That's how it works. And you'll learn that. People with round eyes, you can guarantee they got some water somewhere. 
in their trinity. You know, tall bodies, tall arms and legs, Gemini Sagittarius body. How is, how did, did, it doesn't mean that's their ascended, it could be their moon, because it can come out in different ways. But it won't be their sun sign, which they tell you, I see, you don't know what you're talking about, you just guess me wrong. You see what I mean? And we need to stop that, because it's the science. How it works is a lot of people know there's 12 signs, right? And this is another, I, it, I can't keep from going back to the Biblios Heliotech because it's the record of the sun. And that's what this is about, the solar system. And they tell you in there that 144,000 will make it, right? Right? Is that what the religions are? Does anybody know what that means? Well, I'm going to show you just how. Huh? Well, it, always apply numerology to all numbers. There's no number in the universe higher than nine, ever. Always break it down, but yes. Yeah, so it goes, goes back to nine, which is the womb. 12, 12 times 12 is what? 12, 12 times 12 is what? It's 144. That's the 144,000. You, all of us, have to come back through this right here for our own development. It's a code. Because, you know, I was probably like, yeah, well, if it's only 145, that's so dis dis uh, discouraging. I'm not going to make it. 144,000? Oh, it won't be me. I won't be in those numbers. You know, that's what you think, right? That's not what it means. It means 12 times 12. That's 144. It's coded. This is what you need to know. Because how you navigate in the other plane of life that you want to go to or whatever planet you think you want to go back to, you're here because maybe you forgot how to navigate, you know? And the basic elementary teachings of such is from here. This is a low plane for you because we're not made, we're, we're, we are mind and we do travel. And we're, we're multidimensional, but you're tied to here for a reason. Well, first of all, the earth is, is our, 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 a learning ground for us and that's why we should take care of it that's another thing we have not done that and we've allowed others to do the same to to abuse this earth it's like we've allowed people to abuse our mother you know literally women too we've allowed people to abuse well women have allowed people to abuse her because she abused her truthfully she's the one who really caused the fall of humanity it is not the brother he's our soldier ready and willing to work if he hasn't been contaminated. Um, if he hasn't been uh, already seriously contaminated, you know, with some of the stuff that we really have done, seriously. Um, that's another uh, lecture we would like to do that we just got through doing too, called Woman Know, know Thyself. It's very powerful. We women really need to know that we keep looking for something in our product, which is our son, which we love, for him to do something that he just, that's not in him to do. And we're asleep, so we think that it is. We don't realize that it's us to do, so. But we will, we'll, we'll, we'll cover, there's a lot to cover. It really is, we have to be re-educated. So here's what I say, here's what I say. Why can't we people, the mothers and fathers of civilization, get this understanding and instead of dumping finances, into uh, uh, what's uh, idol god worship institutions, so that I don't offend anyone. <laughs> idol god worship institutions. First of all, you got to identify that it is. Dump it into the schools we need for our children. Now, that doesn't mean that there isn't finance on this land, North America, for our education, because this is our land. There's no doubt about that. We all understand that, right? that we didn't just come over here on boats from Africa, the generic thing. So there is finance because they've been stealing all that belongs to us anyway. But there's a way in which you go about it. You don't go about it trying to be what they want you to be, which is to put you back into a corporate fictitious entity at all, 501Cs and all that kind of stuff. You don't need, that is not what we do. That's not going to get us anywhere. And anybody who's doing that, guess what? They just fell with the rest of the country that just fell, with the rest of that. I won't say the country. Let's identify that with the, yes, because there are corporations that just fell. The land is still here. You just don't know it's yours, that you're entrusted to it. So is the actual corporation of the United States of America, is that defunct as of now? 
I don't know if they dissolve their corporation or not, but it's it's activities and it's uh, uh, um, it's activities and functioning is defunct. And even if it weren't, once you become conscious of who they are, it's automatically defunct. <laughs> Yes. Now, is that describing the interaction and the cycles between, like, aspects, like, between the planet? You know, or, like, you know, like, expand and trying with, um, Venus and, let's say, more almost that pop or, or whatever, instead of trying, is that creating the vesicle Pisces that creates No. Vesicle Pisces is the, uh, vaginal, is the va vagina. All right. I, I but. Physically, but I mean, um, cosmically, what is the vesicle Pisces? And what was the vesicle Pisces cosmically? Uh, well, it has to be like a, a opening of some kind because I'm not really sure what it is. Yeah, it has to be a vortex because that's what it is. So there's various ones. But as far as your trees, just so you know, or do you know already how trees are made? Trines, that's Trines that's squares. I mean, I, uh, that's 30 degrees? Or what is it? No. Is it trees are 120, 120, 120. Right, because this right here, everything comes, and this is what I just wanted to give you all the symbolism about this so that you can approach it to whatever, I'm trying to make the right word, whatever institution, and I'm going to call it idol god institution you may be involved in. We can explain the idol god much later, but whatever that is, so I'm not offending anyone by name. The truth doesn't, yeah. It, it, the truth will offend, but we. But our problem is, is that we haven't been tell, some people haven't been telling it because of that. So I'm not. I'm telling the truth, but I'm not naming those things because if you know what, if you know what idol God institution was, you already know what they are. Don't need to. The truth is what you really just need to deal with, and the rest of that just takes care of itself. And it's irrelevant. Doesn't matter what they're called. So this is your 360 wheel. If I were to take Taurus is here, right? Earth sign. If I were to draw a line, you know what? If I were to draw a line to the next Earth sign, Capricorn, right? And then draw another line to Virgo and then come back again. Did I just make a tree? All right. So this is the tree, meaning it represents harmonies. Triune a lot. Right. All right. So it's a harmony. I'm going to do two of them because I want to show you something really interesting here. Right? I got it reversed that way because a second one, meaning each one of us is a trinity, right? Each and every one of us is a trinity. Mind, body, and soul, sun, moon, rising. So then we meet up with another trinity, don't we? And we make what was supposed to be a perfect... No, that's the what you call the hex alpha star, David, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Right? There's two trinities together. That's the perfect... Harmony, perfect connection of the male and female energies. Yin and yang. Now, they ain't got no, nothing to do necessarily with the physical thing. I'm talking about the energies. Male has always existed. The male energy has always existed. But not necessarily in the physical until we made that happen. All right? So that doesn't put the man down. It just puts it in order. That's all. Would Genesis be describing prior to the physical Adam being born? Is that what that's describing? Adam? Uh, Did say that again? Well, is that what that's speaking about? Like, you know, the interaction between, you know, um, uh, was it ionic bonds and things of that nature? All that is prior to the physical form. So is that what, like, Adam, the story of Adam and Eve? Like, no, the story of Adam and Eve is really a laboratory, a, a, a laboratory thing. It has nothing to do with us. We've always been mine. And androgyny is what I'm talking about in terms of the energy. And then on the physical plane, it comes into the split, you know, that I'm male and or female and you male. I'm sorry, you had a comment? Uh, when you say Genesis, usually there's, Genesis is pretty big, but they have um, two parts of Genesis. The first part of Genesis, they describe G-O-D as a character doing things. The second part of Genesis is more God, right? And although nature created man, man made other men. Just like man has made everything from the Chihuahua to the Great Dane from the fox and the wolf. Man has, has the 
ability to manipulate and make things. Right. right. So that's what's happening in Genesis. Okay. The first part of Genesis is when nature or makes man, and then the second part of Genesis man two makes is when man, man makes other men. Okay. Right. So when you look at it like that, you can't just like combine them all together and say that it's just one. Now what I'm saying is symbolic. Now what I'm saying is that you know Adam is the Adam, and you know him taking his rib is just an iron, iron bond. What's right. Now let me explain that. Now I got where you are. I didn't. I didn't know where you were. All right. The atom is this. Got it. And the e, and e is the evolution of that. All right. So the story of what you're saying where he took the rib and made the woman is totally not happening. Yeah. Right. You understand that? Yeah. Well, I'm uh -huh. saying it's that yeah. It's this. Adam and I, well, no. In the physical form, man doesn't, does man, man doesn't have a womb, right? All right, so man didn't bring anything here. Understood. All right, understood. I mean mankind. I don't mean man. Right, but see, but see, but see. First of all, man is the woman. Man is woman. She's the. That's why there's the oldest bones. It is is of what they call Lucy, but we know she was not Lucy. All right, she's Zodiacus. All right, womb man is man. Man is generic. It's, I mean, man is a, is a species. So man is me. I'm both male and female. I mean, I'm both feminine, you know. The energies, I got them both. Matter of fact, I have the X, right? And I got the Y. However, you're the Y, and you're missing something. So you couldn't give me anything. You understand? All right. So we got to clear that up so that we can get that out, because that is called the patriarchal thinking that got Played on us right. and feeds down to the attic all our ships. All right, now, now I'm, I'm, I'm all, like, all that's cool. All what right, is that we taught that, yes, once we gave that to the Catholics or gave it to the Europeans, we taught that in order to teach them science. No, science book? no, 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 we taught them that what you find in the Masonic orders and the fraternal orders is the truth. All right, but here's what we taught them see this M, if you can see this A. I'm going to capitalize the S so we can see the two words. May son. Masonic orders is mother and son. That's all there is. Those are the secrets of the woman. Secrets of nature. That's what we taught them. And then it was put into that form to teach them because we were civilizing them. They didn't civilize us. So the Nicene order was a Masonic order? The who? The, the Nicene Council. All right, the Nicene Council. Nicene Great that you asked that. The Nicene Council, you know what they did, right? They created the Nicene Council is response as Constantine. The response to the Crusades, right? he, they created Christianity from the political from the political party that it was anyway, and still is really. Mm -hmm. And they created the tenets of it because you can go right in the encyclopedia, and it was in um, uh, uh, three uh, what's the year? Three twenty five A D. A D. Brother, write that down so you can do that. Nicene Council. 325 A.D. created, decided, met to determine the tenets of what? Christianity. Nicene. Now, Nicene is spelled two, two different ways. N-I-C-E-N-E and -E I-C-E-A-N. -E Nicene Council, the council, that's in Constantine. It has nothing to do, it had nothing to do with Yahshua, which they call Jesus, right? Nothing at all because, first of all, it was done 325 A.D. After his death. So it was created for us to be thinking under the patriarchal, and they, 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 that's what happened. So you're asking all the questions that, that are pertinent because these have to be cleared up in order for us to get that out of our mind and proven qualified, just like the whole idea you understand about the woman being man. She's man. The, we know what came first, the chicken or the egg. You know, these scientists are going around talking about as if it's some controversy on what came first, the chicken or the egg. Well, the chicken that laid the egg is female, right? And the egg itself is female, right? So how stupid are we to even buy into that? It is no, the, the, debate, the debate doesn't even exist. See what I mean? So this is where we have been. So the rib, not happening. The rib is the rib of an atom. All right, all right.
All right. Yeah, no, it's all right. What I'm saying is that is that process. I know it's I know it's symbolic. I know that. What I'm mm -hmm. saying is that. Yeah, a lot of the things are symbolic and coded to represent. It's just like um, we, we talk about it all the time. There's a lot of rituals people go through in their idol god worship institutions that symbol, symbolize the actual thing. And so they're doing this, the rituals to symbolize it, and they don't even know what the heck the rituals are symbolizing. You see what I'm saying? So that's the problem. You know, we had someone ask the other day, <laughs> we won't say who, how to pray, right? How to pray. All of you have been praying all your life, and, you don't even know, and then they say, we don't know how to pray. But it's something you do. It's invoking, pouring out, and calling upon. So therefore, if you do the same thing with God, 12th century doesn't exist, you're it. But you're not God. But you, Because God is, well, you are in that God is an action. It's not a title. It's not a, 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 a person. Did someone else, a sister, had her hand up or something? A question? No? All right. Yes, let's let's do this. He's saying Pisces, Vesica Pisces, and um, you're saying Pisces from the astrology sign because Pisces from the astrology. We keep going back to the mother. That's where energy is going. So we just got to stay there. Pisces represents the womb of the zodiac, and this is what I wanted to show you, so so you would know where we are today in this so so named, signifying, and correctly named, signifying age of what. Aquarius, which is the age of knowing and knowledge, not believing anything. All right? Oh, no, I said that the Vesica Pisces is this. I don't know if I could do it right. It looks like it's the vagina opening. I don't think I did it right, though. It's really two circles, right? Well, say that again. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Well, this Vesica Pisces is a symbol. I'm going to show you where how, how it's used, how you've seen it before and don't even know it. Okay. Number one, V-E-S-I-C-U-S. -S -S. All right? Now, this is what really creates it. It's the two circles of life, the higher and lower, the unseen and the physical. You know, because that's what the glyphs are made of, physical and spiritual cups Half circles meaning open meaning representing that that's coming from the spiritual, etc. So this, if I could dot dot dot, you know, this is where the two lines join. The two circles join. And then if I took that out, you would have this, which is also the symbol of the womb of life of a vagina. An opening. I'm not perfect with this thing. But if you look on your dog's bill, that's what they put the faces of the men in. Of Vesica Pisces also. V-E-S-I-C-U-S. And Pisces is a P-I-S-I-S, not Pisces. V-E-S-I-C-U-S. Now. Vagina. I said it three times. Have you ever, you know, have you ever... All right, listen, sister. It's, look, can you see the symbol? Can you see this? You want to come up here so you can see? Doesn't it shape? Yes, please come up here for one second just so I can answer your question. All right, you see that? All right, it's two circles that come together. You see what it creates? I do understand that. All right, well, that's the same shape of your vagina. I understand that. That whole happening down there. It's not necessarily... Pisces, as you're thinking of Pisces, these are two different things in that respect. However, symbolically not really because Pisces, the sign Pisces, I'll show you, is the fish, the sign of the fish, right? Well, if you look at the sign of the fish, it's this, isn't it? With a tail like that, like that. So it is because the only thing that is is the womb that brings everything in, period, period. And when you dream of fish, they say it means someone's pregnant. So yes, it is all connected. It can never be disconnected. Because it is what it is. So yes. But if, are you a Pisces? Oh, just curious, because I thought you might have been interested in. Yes, now. 
But if you're at the end, you're at the beginning. But you're, if you're at the end, you're at the beginning. Because there is no end. So like, this is what I'm going to show you now. Because we're talking about Pisces. Alpha and Omega, right. Here is the last sign. Aquarius, Aries. This is where we need a projector at too. Because this could be done. But that's all right. We got a, this is the, uh, here's what I'm trying to do. I'm going to work this. <laughs> I'm going to work this. Uh, let's see. I know it's up high. It's 30 degrees each. All right. We go like that. Then we want, we want to make two more. So we're going to go like this. I just don't want to miss the ascendant line, which is what Aries is. So this is Aries. Forgive me. I'm going to use the symbols, but if I can't help it. I'll write them out for you too. This is Aries, right? But up here is Pisces. That's why I looked up, right? The fish tied together, right? Mm -hmm. And then above that is who? Aquarius, right? Now Aquarius is sit sitting. Well, now we need a three signs. There we go. Now what Aries is is the horizon line. How you rise? What's rising? At the moment you're born, it's not when someone else is born. When you're born, what was on that horizon sign goes, it keeps turning. And that's what I was showing here. These are the houses, but it keeps turning. So if you were at Aries, and yes, the first house belongs to Aries, but guess what? It might not have been in the first house when you were born because he likes to visit his friends because he travels. They all travel consecutively. They're, nothing is stationary. So when you were born, instead of Aries being in the first house, it might have been over here in, let's say, the fifth house. Ah, oh, that puts a little bit of uh, malefic, outgoing energy in the house of creations and children. So this is sometimes that could cause problems if it's too strong. You see what I'm saying? Or if Uranus is in that house of the fifth house of children, that's when people will lose their children or lose, can't carry babies or whatever because it separates. Do we need to know these things. And depending on the planet and where it is, it affects that facet of your life because there's 12 facets. It's not really complicated. All right? But it does take a course study to learn it. it. I mean, it does. But believe me, when you learn it and it hits you, it feels right because it's always been there. It's just been suppressed. So Aquarius is the water bearer. Is that right? right. And the water represents knowledge. Is that right? And when and babies are born in the waters of the womb, is that right? And so this age of Aquarius is pouring water. I mean, he's on his knees. He's pouring water. He's pouring his water down to Pisces. Now, Pisces is Sophia for you who do Gnostic studies. She's the woman. This is the beginning, therefore the end, therefore the beginning. Right? This is Pisces, the, the mother, the womb. Now, he's pouring this water, and eventually when you're pregnant, you pour water, pour water, and the waters of the, the walls of the womb swell up with water, right? What happens after that, sisters? The water breaks. It's time to have some new birth. So the new birth comes in here. The sheep. Aries. The babies. The sheep. He who sits in the east, for you who are Masonic, is the neophyte, the new born, the new person, the initiate. That's who that is. So now at this point, Aquarius has got the game. He's like, all right, we are going to know and not just believe because Pisces, ages go this way and, you know, the, it goes clockwise for the signs. But the ages, when you're looking at it, go back this way. So we came out of Pisces, which is of believing, into Aquarius, which is of demanding you must know. Matter of fact, if you don't know, well, you're out. You're out because that's what time it is right now. All right, so now, <laughs> once Pisces gets this new birth that comes in here, she's, the mother's going to bring in the womb, always, which is the womb, man, man, is going to bring in the child that knows. And this is where baptism comes from in the waters and being reborn again. Because you never, never die. You, they even tell you in the even in the idol god worship institutions, that you have everlasting life. But if you have everlasting life, why are you sitting here worried about this physical world as if it's the last or the first? 
it's really hypocritical for you to do that. So we need to understand why we have this everlasting life and how we have this everlasting life. And these tools that our ancient ancestors left for us tell us how, and we had no fear because we had knowledge. And so without this foundation information, which is the teachings of nature, of which we are a product of nature, this is where we get totally lost, confused, suppressed, and mentally ill. And then they create institutions to fix that problem. And then they take people and say, go to the school and get a degree in this knowledge. When your ancestors left you 360 of that knowledge. It's already right there. So it's very, yes, sister. Um, oh, good question. So a lot of good questions coming up in here today, huh? Wait, what's the question again? Did did man create the European? Or did the womb? Well, yeah. both. Sisters. Mm -hmm. Created mankind. Because there's man and there's mankind. Meaning there's a kind of man, isn't it? One small step for man. One large step for some kind of man. One talking about you, because we've been traveling through the space. That's part of how we get, get here, back and forth through space, and, and don't use different space suits. In fact, we got a space suit on right now. It's called the melanin that's in our skin, so that we can even survive on this one. And so then you know that those who don't have the melanin in their skin, they're mutants. So what they tell you, because they want to water it down, that it's global cleansing, I mean, global warming, that's not true. It's global cleansing. Because the earth is going to always cleanse itself. It's been here for billions and billions and billions of years. It's not going anywhere. But it might rearrange the furniture every now and then. And that's what, that's what she's doing. And so the only thing that's going to leave this earth is those who are mutants to this earth that don't belong here. Now, the reason we suffered for so long is because at our hands, we created that mutant. They, they even told you who he was. They said he was Frankenstein. And what did you do? You ran from him. They told you a story in Frankenstein. We made him. We ran from him. We don't want to be responsible. And then we became victims of our own self-doing. Because retribution justice is all that exists. All right? Absolutely. And until you get that straight, we're the mother. No, no, no. Let me, let me correct that. We are the mo Let me see how many people agree with this. Because we say that. We, the natural peoples of the earth plane, are the mothers, and we claim it, and fathers of civilization. Do we not say that? Oh, we say it with, wait, we say it with pride, don't we? We get all ethnic about it, and we get, you know, we, we got brothers and sisters that got an aunt that stands up about this high, and that's their staff and everything like that, right? And that's the wound that they're carrying around. And then they dishonor the sister. Yes, it's explained constantly in what they call mythology. And they always have half human, half Be, let's get animal. exactly. So here's what happened in short. They actually outlawed it in Europe in the 1800s that you couldn't experiment with mixing animal crops. <laughs> well, guess what? You, your people, we did it. <laughs> we did it. They was doing it anyway. That's what Doctor Monroe. That's why they made that movie. The, the island of Doctor Monroe explains what we did. Now. Rather than me going into all the details of that, but it clearly there needs to be a lesson. We need to come back here another day and try to set a time, if we can, to do just that, to talk about just that. However, we do have some books over here, the nigger problem, that I got your sister, that explains it. But in a, sh in a short, we created them out of being mad scientists, right? Try. <laughs> Cloning is nothing new. We already did it. Yes, man. Yes, sister. Yes, of course. Genetics. It's genetics. They're mutants. But there's something more important here with that. Yes, I am, sister. The Albion, the European. Now, 
Yes, we have. Uh, I have information that you can, the books, and you can research and see. Because I know that if it's your first time hearing it, it hits you in a certain way. However, it's in your DNA already, and you just need to do some studying, and then you will find it to be true, and then you begin to do what is called baptize yourself. Because baptizing is knowledge. Well, let, let me just say this, and and he, we created them. All right, we. In the site, in the laboratories, which, by the way, those laboratories were in South America. Hmm. South America. That's why you find the Olmec heads and all of that in South America. Have you ever wondered what all that is about? The Olmec heads that look just like you, but you thought you came from Africa only because that was where you came after you were prisoners of war. They went. And that that happened, and your own brothers, your own brothers, sold you out into slavery anyway. But they told you that that's the first time you came over here. But you've been over here. In fact, the laboratories came out, uh, were over here. Hitler said, I'm going home to Argentina. You know he said it, but now you understand why. So what we did was we created them in the laboratory. I know it's a lot. It's heavy. But listen to this. See if we can get, get some, because you're going to need to study it. Just me saying it. Because when you study it, you're going to find solid proof, not just because I said it. Because it's just true. You're gonna, what's going to happen is you're not going to believe me. You're going to know for yourself. And that's what you're, and there's people who, sometimes people, and this is what we have been doing because we were so steeped in falsehood and so brainwashed that we would actually rebuke truth when it was in front of us and be nasty and mean to each other behind it. And it's all right because we, we love each other because we understand the dynamics. And we've been waiting for us all to get there. There's some people that have been already on the mountaintop looking down saying, I'm not going nowhere because my people have to come. Because this is why we're here. You're here to help. You are your brother's keeper. So you can't just say, well, I know this and I know something more than you know, and I'm out. And I'm out. It's frustrating, but it has to be. So what happens is we created them. It was unnatural. They were born into slavery at our hands. We had them in slavery first. We did something that we had to pay for. That's why we were enslaved. So stop looking for them to give you anything. They ain't giving you a damn thing. They are hoping and praying you don't get back on the top and treat them like that again. Now, that's the truth. That's the real truth. So because this is such an uh, injury to the earth now, because they're temporary. You think they don't know they're temporary? Why do you think they keep seeking to try to figure out where they can go to be? They are the ones who have no home, land, really. They are the ones who are not indigenous to anything, really. And you're sitting there looking for them <laughs> to give you something so you can have a sure foot on this earth plane that was already entrusted to you already. That you already have. You already have. Yeah, the lost estate that Noble Drew Ali speaks about. We definitely, definitely suggest you read, once you understand these things, you read some principles of nationality, birthright, political, which they're going to, is going to talk about today. And you read Noble Drew Ali's work. Don't read it from a perspective that it's religion because it never was that. That's what they told you, what they put FBI people in place so that they could sell you out and sell the movement, this movement, this activity out as a religion because we like to worship something. Because we feel as though as long as we can worship and give Reverend Jones five dollars, he's going to pray for me and I'm going to be all right. And it doesn't really matter what I do on Monday because we are irresponsible to ourselves. And because we expect, as a whole, as a collective people, we expect somebody owes us something because we've been enslaved. And as ignorant as we are with it, or the ignorance shows, because the rest of the world already knows that you're the mother and father of civilization. And they're waiting for you to wake up to save not just you, but the rest of the world. And so when they allowed Condoleezza, when they utilized the sister, Condoleezza Rice, they got into places they would have never got into. They wouldn't have even been able to walk on the soil. But the sister showed up, the mother of civilization. But she wasn't right. She wasn't right. 
That's how they got into those places. Don't think it wasn't. Do you think that Obama being the president now means what you think it means? No, it doesn't. Is he a moral person? He's more moral than probably all the presidents has, that have ever been president all put together. But, and however, whether he's telling the truth or not telling the truth, you need to understand the only reason why he's in that position is to keep you, the natives, from being restless about the truth. That's right before your eyes. And because they can't hold it down anymore. No one wants to believe them. But some of us still do. We still sit here actually thinking they're going to give us something. They ain't got nothing to give you because what you have that belongs to you has always been there. You just have not claimed it. And it starts with honoring your mothers and fathers, which you refuse to do. You want to do everything, but be everything but who we are. And a piece of paper does not give you that. It's in here. So I want to say, because I don't know how much time I have left, uh, how much time do I have? All right, I'm going to wrap it up with this. We are not victims, other than of ignorance. When Yahshua said, my people perish for lack of knowledge, he told the truth. We need to start learning. Don't worry about, is it too late? It's never too late. You have everlasting life. But you need to fix this problem or that our children are going to be, they, we just could be non-existent, really. Now, they're going to suffer worse than what we did. We created the European Albion Caucasoid that was named, you don't even know that the Caucasoid, Caucasian was named after one of your brothers. Don't even know it. So the education that we've had is all wrong. We have suffered because of those mistakes that we made. And it started, it did start with the women wielding that wonderful power she had. She sleep. When she wakes up, well, this thing will be fixed. That's another class. <laughs> it really is, but it's all tied in. What we need all of us to understand is stop being so self-righteous and hypocritical and really think that anyone owes you anything. And know that you, we, owe the world. And so, yes, those who think when someone asks you where you came from, oh, I'm descendants of slaves, all happy about it. You're not descendants of slaves. It's a, it's a contradiction to being the mothers and fathers of civilization. You are products of being enslaved, and it's bureaucratic. It's all on paper through contract. And now that, the, that, now that we is who we are more is, are becoming conscious, and knowing this, Everything is falling down. I know you don't believe it, but it's true because they only make finance off of us. We are the resource and always have been. Our consciousness raising is what they have always feared, and so we, that's where our fight is. We are going through what we're going through because we created this being and ran from him and didn't want to take responsibility, and he took over everything. So there's much to learn, and I would like to think that before we go, we could probably try to set another date and another class because there's a whole lot to relearn. The thing I like about the way that we roll here, Dooley and Taj, we don't just tell you and say, believe me. We give you, first of all, we put it in books. And sometimes you read a book, you go back to it, it'll be read differently because your concepts changed. Oh, I read that book last, last week, last month. Now I'm going to read it again. It's going to read to you differently because you have different knowledge base. I like that. I like it because everything is qualified. Actually, everything in nature is qualified. We're just not looking at it. But they qualify. Dooley qualifies this word. Taj qualifies this word. You have references. But the part that's spiritual, which is what you are first, that's within you. And when you hear the words, and they hit your ear, and it feels good in your heart, then you know that it's meant for you. If it doesn't, step off, because there's someone else that needs to say, take your seat. All right? And don't worry about it. You'll find it when it's time for you to, because this is very serious times right now. We really have to get on the stick. Um, I do want to say this, sister. You, we are going to be having um, astrology classes somewhere in Philly here, right? Because this is an ongoing course. 
You're not going to learn everything right now. I just told you the basics of it. And I told you enough to tell you this. Your ancestors left it as a teaching tool for elementary teaching. That's just how far off we are. But you can learn it because it's yours. So we'll have to find out when we'll be given a... Is it just for women now? Right now it is, yeah. Because <laughs> it's all about the womb right now. But um, what happens if you're, what happens if you're born from the womb? If you're what? No, it's not separating men from women. We don't like to do that, but it's just that it's it's a necessity for women because women run everything right now. Women run all the institutions, all the churches. They run everything, and until they get it straight, it's not going to be straight. It's not going to be right. Yes. Uh, the, right. So the importance of the imprinting that they are capable of. Yes. Yes. Nine yes. Right. Because anything that they focus their mind on, the child's going to come out like. Yes. Your friend, right. These monsters get created. Yes, they do. That's what that that's what that hex alpha was for. That that hex alpha was to show you, yeah, what we call accidents. There's no child. That, yeah, but but it, but it's not a blessed event, as he said. When you bring a child in, it is supposed to be a blessed event. That's horrible. Oh, that's an accident. I didn't mean it. Well, if you have sex, you get pregnant. What do you mean you didn't mean it? It's for procreation. The heck, and then we teach our daughters that crap. Oh, well, that was an accident, and I'm just going gonna, gonna to go have an abortion now or whatever because, you know, it's going to mess up my life. That's crazy. That's a absolutely absurd for us. So I was showing the hex alpha that, that, that does not belong to the Jewish Israel whatever. In fact, in fact, let me just say this, and then I got to go, but I got to say this because there's so much. I got to say this. I got to. Uh, Right there, yeah, all right. <laughs> and it would be, because that would be the center, sister. That would be the center of the circle. And everything, and look, and everything goes around it. Everything. Everything. But I got to say this. The Star of David that I showed you, and then people, like they say, they're children of Israel, and they have that Star of David, you know, and then they to the and, and then the, the country Israel adopted that star and says it's theirs, it's not theirs, it's yours. It comes off of it comes off of this wheel because when you put two together, you're putting together, you're drawing the harmonies that have come off that wheel. However, the children of Israel are the children are the Albions. That's the creation because Israel was Jacob. His, it says in Genesis that I now will name you Israel. That's Jacob. He's the one who did the experiment. Yakub. I'm sorry. Yes, I apologize. Yakub, because there were no J's pronounced back then. That's why we know that his name wasn't Jesus. So now, Yakub was named Israel. So, for, because his experiments went well, so those were his children, so to speak, his experiment. And then we run around talking about we're the children of Israel. Don't even know that we're saying that we are the experiment, the Albions, specifically. And we realize that because we think we're slaves and we come from that mentality, when we read these books, we go back and anytime we see anybody that was enslaved, oh, that was us. We don't, and that's our problem. So we have to come, come out of that. Before, can I say something what you said? Yes. Um, and when you say that about Jaku, which many of the Lamar language is Jacob. Yes. Um, his last, his, the, his, his tenth, his eleventh son was Joseph. Yosef. 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 And Yosef um, married Pharaoh's daughter because he went, remember he went down to Egypt and he was sold out. He went, the thing was, the guy that was on Oprah a couple weeks ago, Obama became president. Mm -hmm. He was a reporter. He was like an administrator. Uh, I forget his name. Um, but he was an administrator like with uh, Nixon and Carter or whatever, Reagan. Well, he said on Oprah, he said on Oprah, and I was like crazy. He said, he said you know, um, of Obama's speech, he referred to Moses, mm. you know, to be like king of that the, mouse. Like, uh, 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 yeah, amongst us, amongst us. And but he said, but now it's a Joshua generation. That's what he said. And and Joshua, or Joshua, yes, Joshua is um, was from the son of um, um, Ephraim, and Ephraim was Ephraim was the was the son of, of Pharaoh's daughter, and the mother determines the ethnicity. She was Egyptian. Mother always does. Yeah. 
And Nationality from your mother, not your father. Mother's baby, father's maybe. I got to close up. Yashua was a son of none. But the thing was, there's a Yashua generation. Yeah, we are we are the Moabites, and that's the and that's Jesus' great grandmother was a Moabite, Ruth or Ruth the Moabite, and the Moorish nation came from the Moabite nation, Moabite nation, which is the sisters. And when she fell asleep, you know, she knocked herself out, right? That's why he's holding her up. It then went to her sons and became the Moorish nation. And from the Moorish nation, you have the United States Republic, which is history, love, which we'll get into. So don't think that you're disconnected from here. You're not. This is your home.